everybody. Oops. <laughs> this is it for now. Hi everybody. Superboy, come here. I'll be working on an art project right now. So I have my uh, red panda mask, as you guys can see. <coughs> red panda mask. So, I bought some uh, red hair. I'm not really an artist type person, but I bought these. These are clip-ons. I got them from Amazon. These are clip-ons. They were like ten dollars. These are cheap clip on. These are curly. I could have gotten straight, but I went with curly. Synthetic hair is not real hair. That's the thing. The synthetic hair is not real hair, but it'll work for my project. So yeah, so I am going to be, I am doing a art project right now. Hopefully they, hopefully they will work. We'll see how it works. So I got my red mask, red panda mask right here. And I got these uh, cheap. Hair clip on. Hoping they work. Let's show you guys. Oh, they're working here. Show you guys what I'm working with. Oops. Let's see if I can. Hey. See this? So, um, yeah, I've never done this before. This is the first time I'm doing this. So, what I thought I'd do, because I've never done this before, is I'd hot glue it to the, to the mask. This is a hot glue gun, you guys. Why not do an art project, right? I've never really done an art project. Let's set this, set this down. Put this down. Put this down here. And make sure you turn it on. This has an on-off switch, as you guys can see. And the light on-off switch. So we just let it, let it sit here. Hi there! Hi, Runs Call. How you doing? I'm working on my uh, red panda mask over here. This is my first art project stream. So what I did, oh, what I did was I ended up buying these uh, cheap red curly hair clip-ons 
from Amazon for like 10 bucks. They're made, they're synthetic. They're not made out of real hair. I bought it. So the red mask I'm going to use for like cosplaying and stuff. Like when I go to like places where people cosplay and stuff. I will also be having showing another video where I will be putting on like fox ears and foxing fox ears and horns. But for now, I'm going to be affixing putting on these uh, clip-on. I know you can see clip-ons. I thought I would, uh, these are, by the way, these are hair extensions that you can buy from like any hair store or something. These are the cheap ones. Like most hair extensions are like hundreds of dollars, but these are the cheap ones. It's like $10 for like 12 of them. So we'll see how this goes. I never, again, I've never done this before. So this is my first time. The first time for everything, right? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But. I don't know if you guys uh, wear masks for cosplaying and stuff, but... Let's see if this works. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna... What you do is you hot glue some of this. Oh, hopefully this will work. And they say that the problem with the synthetic ones is that they get tangled a lot. So I'm going to press this on here. You press it on here. As you can see, I pressed it on there. I just hot glued it. Again, I don't know if you guys uh, cosplay or not. But I don't know if I put enough glue on there either. But this is my first time doing this, so we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, because these are synthetic and not real hair, you can buy real hair one. But since, because these are synthetic, they do tangle. But we'll see how they turn out. So I'm basically just pushing these against the mask. I'm pushing these against the mask. You can see I'm using my fingers. Hopefully this hot glue will work, but I don't know. I've done two so far. Hopefully it holds. Again, this is my first time ever doing something like this. So, I don't know how it will turn out. Oops. If you guys have done something like this before, let me know. Or if you guys are into like cosplaying or making like costume masks or anything like that, let me know. Or wearing costume masks, like going to like anime conventions and whatnot. Hopefully this will hold. I don't know if I should be gluing the hair piece first instead of just 
gluing the uh, the mask itself. But again, since I have never really done anything like this before, it's the first time for everything. Oops. The reason why I'm doing it on the underside is so it doesn't show in the front. You can see it's not showing in the front, which is good. I'm also gonna paint, you see the where the tape is? I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint that with like, um, I have glow in the dark paint, so I gotta repaint that. Hopefully this stays. So how was your Monday? You guys have a good Monday? Again, guys, in case you guys are just tuning in, I'm hot gluing some synthetic clip-ons to my red mask. I'm a red panda mask over here. So I can give it some hair. I think one more. <clears throat> Again, this is my first time doing something like this. It came with 12 of them, but I'm only using five of them <clears throat> for now because I don't really need 12 of them. Because 12 is a lot of hair. I'm mainly an outdoor streamer. So, and I do stream at night sometimes, but I'm just peeling off some of the, uh, Turn the glue that was on my fingers. We'll see how this turned out. So you can see I hot glued the clip-ons to the inside of my mask. So now I got some hair, some red hair. Red curly hair. I don't know if this is going to be good enough or if I should do like maybe another layer. Maybe, maybe I'll put in another layer. Since I have these, I might as well use some of them, right? So it would be like thicker hair. So how's everybody doing today? I 
Arts and Crafts Day. Again, I normally don't do arts and crafts stuff. But I am working on my uh, masks today. So we'll see how it turns out. I got these in today, so we will see. I'm going to put some hot glue there. And then I'm going to fix this on here in the middle. Just to give it more uh, depth. I might need to get some more hot glue sticks, which I do have plenty, but we'll see. Some of these are thinner, as you can see, some of these are not as thick as the other one. But I'll be right back. Let me go grab another hot glue stick. Don't go anywhere, you guys. Okay, I'm back. Got some more hot glue sticks. More hot glue gun over here. Put some in here. These are different ones. You can buy different kind of hot glue sticks for different temperatures. I bought the Gorilla ones cause they, some people say the Gorilla hot glue lasts longer, I mean holds stronger than some of the other ones. This is my first time Doing an art project with this. And then one last one.
Anyway, so how has your day been? How's your Monday been, you guys? I hope your Monday has been okay. Monday, my Monday has been pretty good. Pretty fantabulous. I cannot complain. Hopefully, this stays. So, look at all the hair that I added on here. You can see all the hair that I added on here. So hopefully the hot glue method works. It's not the most clean, but We'll see. So this is my mass. Um, so. Let's see what it would turn out to look like at the end. Let's see what it, let's see. Let's see. So, um, hello guys, so this is my mask, let's put it on, so this goes behind, hopefully, and then you put this on, oh, this is supposed to be like a cosplay mask. Like a lot of people when they do cosplay, when they have like cosplay stuff, oh, let me, let me take this off. A lot of people when they have cosplay stuff like this, it's like a full hair piece, right? Let me put this on and then like flip the hair back. Hopefully it turns out okay. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is what it turned out to look like. This is my red panda console mask. Maybe I should brush out the hair, but this is what it looks like. Let me know what you guys think. Like maybe I can like push this over my head too. Doesn't have to go down the side. Again, this is not something that I normally do, but... Now you know. Does this look okay to you guys? Does this look fine? Nothing here. And then, or put it in, you can put it in the back. Like, should I, like, glue some to the side? I don't know. I just glue it to the, the, the top. What do you guys think? You guys think it's okay?
Look at me. Look at me. Okay. Does this look okay to you guys? Looks okay to me. Oops. Let me uh, check over here for my friends over here. <coughs> and then I will... Um, I will put on some... You see the paint? The tape on top? I will paint it in... Uh, in red. Does that look okay to you? It looks okay to me. Let me take a picture. I gotta take a picture for my friend. My friend's gotta see this. My friend's probably wanna see this. Oh. Yeah, let me, um... Let me clean this up. I kind of spilled some stuff. But I will clean it up. So this is my cosplay mask, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. After this, I will be, uh... You guys like it? I thought I would like, uh... You know, I have a brush here that I could use to like brush it out. Just so it's not tangled. Because synthetic synthetic hair tends to tangle more than real hair. But It is what it is. So, this is my cosplay mask, you guys. Maybe I can... Uh, let me know what you guys think. I don't want it to be in my mouth, though. Maybe... One side has more hair than the other. Or we'll see. So this is my cosplay mask. Let's see if I uh
I finished with my I'm finished with my glue gun and then I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the top. I'm just running my fingers through it right now. Because it's kind of tangled. Hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, this is my cosplay mask. Again. This is what it ends up looking like. There you guys. This is my cosplay mask with with the hair. Let me know if you think the hair is okay or too long. This is what the end result is with the curly hair. You guys like this? I don't know if you guys like this, but I think it's pretty cool myself. And then I'll finish. I will come back and like, I will show you guys like, when I, when I do the, uh, When I get the uh, the horns and the fox ears, I will show another stream with me putting those on. But for now, this is what it looks like with the hair. Just taking a picture from my friends. Okay, now that I'm 
pretty much finished with the hair. I will finish painting it. <coughs> finish painting the I will finish painting Okay. Anyways. So this is what this looks like right now. I can even put my hair back like this without it being like in the side and stuff. I can put, push my hair to the back or I can put some like a couple of strands up in the front and put the rest back, put the rest in the back. This is what it could look like. I could do this. You, you guys like the red hair? I think the red hair looks cool. So, yeah, red curly hair. This is my cosplay. Again, I'll be adding horns up here and uh, fox ears. Nice. So that's what it currently looks like right now. Yeah, so that's all the hair that I added in the back. It doesn't look the neatest in the back, but it doesn't matter what it looks like in the back. As long as it, it works, right? So, now that I am done with the hair, Turn this off, because I don't need this on right now. Now that I'm done with the hair, we can get to the painting part. We're gonna...
We're going to paint it with the with glow in the dark paint. Just so that the tape doesn't show. I'll be right back. Let me get some tea. Let me get some tea, you guys. So, I have a collection of glow-in-the-dark paint. I'm going to use the red. The paint over the tape. cardboard <coughs> just so I don't end up painting the uh, the thing so just so I don't end up painting the uh, you know table so so what I'm going to use is uh, the red so this is the red I know you guys can see that that's the red it's a neon night you guys probably can't see that. It says Neon Knights. Neon Knights is the color that I use. And then you just shake it. I used some of this already. <coughs> but just so I don't paint the areas that I don't want to. Like the white area. It doesn't really matter if I do because it's going to be covered up anyways. But... What you do is you shake it up, shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty. So I'm shaking my paint. This is what the red paint looks like. 
and I do have a paintbrush here that I have used before. Paintbrush. All my paints are water based. So, what I'm gonna do is you dip it. I don't know you guys can see. Put this over here. Oops. So, I'm just I'm just dipping this in here. There's not much left because I used a lot already. But I'm just paint it on here. Just paint this on here. This is red. You can always use a different color. It takes a little bit for it to dry though. That's the only thing. These are water based. And then yes, let that dry. You see, you still I don't know. You can see some of my orange. It hasn't really come out. I gotta do. I gotta paint over the orange. So let me put this here. And let me get a little cup of water. A cup of water. So I could change different colors. So this is, I got a cup of water where I can wash my uh, paint. Again, these are water-based paints, so they're easy to wash out. That's it for the red. Oh. Now, I got to paint the orange orange so this is the orange I uh, know you can see the orange this is the orange this is what the orange looks like after I shake it for a little bit There you can see some of the some of the black came out, right? You can see some of the black. You can still see a lot of the black. I probably should have painting painted it in white first, like a white base coat, and then put the orange on top. But I didn't. This is the orange. I don't know if you can see the orange. That's what the orange looks like. That's the orange. So I took my paintbrush and the orange. And then dab some of it off and then just paint it again. Try 
try not to hit some of the white if you can. If you do, you can just wipe it off. If you do hit some of the white, oh, see it got a little bit runny, that's okay. You just wipe it off with a napkin. It got a little bit runny. That's probably because my uh, paintbrush is a little bit runny. I probably should have taped this off to be honest. Push it on here just so that it's not super right and then I'm gonna take with a towel. Probably dip this in the water so I can uh, wipe it off. Because it is water based, so you could technically wipe it off. So you could wipe this off. Oops. You don't want it too thin, that's the thing. And then, so you just, this is the orange. Mm, I'm just painting the orange part, right? Repainting the orange part right now because the orange part is a little bit black, a little bit. The black is shining more than I want it, shining through more than I want it to. So I'm repainting the orange part right now. I probably could have used like a softer brush to be honest. But I don't have a softer brush. So, I think that's good enough. Oops. I'm not a uh, super duper artist, so I don't really know that much about this stuff. I just know how to do what I do. I know this is water based acrylic, so using a water to using water this is not oil based, it's water based acrylic. So you could before it dries you could wash it out, wash your brushes in a thing of water. Just make sure you don't accidentally drink it. Cause you wouldn't want to do that. But now that I am done with the orange, or maybe just hit the hit the orange hit the orange a little bit more in the nose, cause it was a little bit thin. You would want a softer brush. Oh, definitely, so you don't get this 
freaks. But if you don't care about the streaks, this is perfectly fine. And then wash it out. And then wipe it with a towel. So I think that's gonna be it for now. Like this. This is the water. Remember, don't keep that. So I think that's going to be it for this. After I finish it, and then. I'm just going to let it dry this way. This is the orange, you guys. Theoretically, you would want to do it with a softer brush, but I don't have a softer brush. So. So now, I'm just let this dry. Because if you have a softer brush, then you don't have to worry about streaks and whatnot. But Doing the garbage right now, even though technically we're not garbage right now. Right now but... I think this will do for now. Yeah, this will do for now. So now I'm just gonna wait for the mask to dry. I usually put this somewhere else when the mask is dry. I'll be right back while I place this somewhere else for the master guy. Because you don't want anybody to touch it while it's dry.
so that's so uh, that that's the art project for today yeah. put some of this away how are you guys So, I still have these uh, hair extensions. Are you done? Huh? Are you done? Yeah, I know. Were you live or was that a, uh, or you just stored the, uh, the video to edit and push up later? What? You're done, right? Right now? Yeah. You're no longer live? Yeah, I'm live. You're still live? Yeah. Oh. It's okay though. So I do have the hair thing. Yeah, I got these off of Amazon for like $10. They're the cheap ones, but hey, they work. They're great for an art project though. You don't have to buy like the real, the real hair extensions. Are you using them for a art project? At least I wouldn't. So. Yeah. That's my little art project for today. I will come back and uh, in another stream I will show you guys uh, me putting on the airs and the horns. So. Yeah. I will be streaming later tonight though. So that's gonna be it for now you guys. This was a short one hour stream. Just to show you guys my little art project that I've been working on. To make a cosplay mask. I will see you, hopefully I will see you guys later. When I stream later in like uh, three or so hours, I'll be back like three or four hours doing like a during a PC stream. But for now, saying bye bye. Remember to stay strong, stay healthy, stay bulletproof, but most of all, stay positive. Let's go raid. I'm gonna raid. Uh, I think she's still on. I'm gonna raid Brienne. So let's go raid her. I will see you guys. Bye.